Right, what is going on guys? In this video I'm doing the Q&A part 2. We've got the questions, we've got a questioner. Now let's start it. Alright, Rebecca, what inspired you to make YouTube videos? Well, I had received my Bang & Olufsen amplifier in the post and I loved it, so I looked on YouTube for anyone else's opinions and reviews, but no one else had a review and I thought I should make a review of it. The next question has been sent in from Aero YZ Games. What got you into audio and vision stuff, Jason? Well, like I said, I had the amplifier and I was listening to loads of music and I was rocking out every day and I thought if I was going to continue the channel, I'd do it with things that I love to do anyway. So that is audio and vision, cameras, photography, sound, microphones, that kind of thing. So I'll just continue on with what I enjoy with. Very good. Uh, this next question we sent in from Jacob Marker. What is your favourite camera lens and why? Well, I don't know about you, but that's quite a hard question to ask or even answer. But I do love two Nikon cameras. There is the D800 and the D4. Now, they're kind of similar but very different at the same time. The D4 is like a machine gun. It will gun down every photo and has amazing low light performance. But the D800 is insane kind of detail and landscape. So if I was going to have either of those cameras and I'd pick a Carl Zeiss lens, Probably the 55 um, Zenar 1.4, which is about £10,000. Wow. Yeah. That question was actually sent in by me. And I actually have another question. Um, I know of previous purchases of really good um, audio and sound equipment. Um, what is going to be next on your list and why? Well, thanks to you guys at home, I'm actually making money from YouTube. They have, I've sent my... Um, bank account details and I've set up an AdSense account and I'm getting money from this which is great. Now it does sound a bit sad because I'm getting money from doing this but actually it's going to go straight back to you guys um, I'm going to be buying equipment purely for the channel um, and I'm using it afterwards for more kind of research and stuff like that. So I'm hopefully when I get all the money I'm going to get the Bang & Olufsen Form 2 headphones. Now they're fantastic headphones Designed in 1980, 85, I think it was, by, I forgot the designer, it was Steve someone, mm -hmm. and Steve McGurr or something, in Denmark. And I'm going to be buying them. They should come very soon, maybe a couple of weeks, and I'll do a review on them and show how amazing the design and detail is. Yeah, well, I have had a first glance at these headphones, and I must say, just merely aesthetically, they're beautiful. Um, the next question has been sent in from. Marcel Carlos. Upgrading to Canon or sticking with Nikon? Um, I'm definitely going to be sticking with Nikon purely because I've bought quite a few lenses already. I've got the kit lens I'm recording with right now, a Carl Zeiss 52.8. I've got a Vivitar 2.0, no, Vivitar 28mm f2.8. And I've got um, an 80 to 200 Mitsuki telephoto with a teleconverter. So all that glass just to fit Nikon. If I was going to change to Canon, then I'd have to buy it all again, which I just can't do. So sticking with Nikon, because um, I do a lot of video, I'm pleased to see that the video is improving on the, on the Nikon cameras and Magic Lantern is starting to hack the um, Nikon cameras for insane cinematic quality. Very well, next question has been sent from Mr. Hislop Gaming. What editing software do you use? Um, I used to use, quite a while ago, I used to use Sony Vegas Pro 11 and it was simply, I couldn't, it wouldn't render, it was crashing and it was a horrible system, I hated it. So I went to Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, loved it, it, it would just worked very quickly and very efficiently and then when Premiere Pro CC Creative Cloud came out, I got that and that's what I'm using at the moment, along with the um, Photoshop, Audition, After Effects, Speed Raid, applications like that, I'm using them as well. Very good. Stephen Daniel sent this question in. Am I going for 4K video? Ooh, that's, that's a bit of a dream really. 4K video is coming out, um, or has come out, on the um, Sony Bravia TVs and it's developing for other TVs as well. The problem is, um, quite a lot of filmmakers like Philip Bloom is kind of loving but kind of hating the 4K um, output for TVs because one, it's very hard to edit for, even full HD video can really stress a laptop or computer desktop um, when editing that, it's a huge stress. 
And also, it's a bit of a gimmick. It's people saying, oh, look at this, I've got 4K, but then they skimp on other features like colour, contrast, gamma ratios, things like that. The next question is from the flight expert. What causes... Put this down before I went, right. Um, what career do you want to pursue in adulthood? Well, like I said, I love Bang & Olufsen design. I love the sound quality. I love the aesthetics and the general artwork that they have to produce with their systems. So I would like to go to either Denmark or Norway and be an acoustic designer for Bang & Olufsen. The next question and final question has been sent in from Aero, Exit Gamer. Opinions of Netflix or Hulu? Hulu. Well, um, Hulu isn't available in the UK, I don't know if you know that, but Netflix is. I personally don't use them, but I think it is, it's similar to the future. It could be the future for convenience, because um, you can buy Blu-ray quality um, streaming options, but because of the compression over the internet, it's not Blu-ray. So on the side of quality, I'd always stick with Blu-rays and DVDs, but um, for the convenience, I, I love it, so I do try and stream when I can for um, movies and that. 